learn a lot about heart disease as well. We're talking about coronary artery disease with Intermountain Healthcare. And joining me now is Dr. John Mitchell. He's a cardiothoracic surgeon with Utah Valley Regional Medical Center. We've got to talk first about the risk factors. What do people need to do to be heart healthy? Right. So risk factors are critically important. There are several main risk factors. In our community, that most important risk factor is obesity and diabetes. But they also include hypertension, a certainly a family history of coronary artery disease, and to a lesser extent in our area um, uh, is smoking. I guess um, one of the things that to be excited about is there's so many ways to treat heart disease now, whereas may, many years ago, you know, you were kind of out of luck. That's correct. So primarily we treat heart disease with medications and lifestyle changes, but then we also have surgical interventions and interventions that are done more minimally invasively through the groin. And we have some displays to demonstrate that. Okay, so we're going to medical school today. He's going to show us. Tell us the first procedure you're going to kind of demonstrate right, so for us here. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the percutan percutaneous intervention of coronary artery disease. Okay. We identify an obstructed artery on the heart. And then we can actually pass catheters up through the femoral artery in the leg and access these coronary arteries through the aorta. Okay. And this little display demonstrates a uh, catheter with a balloon that's not yet inflated. And that would be in your heart, correct? This is now inside the coronary artery. That's incredible. Then the catheter has a stent, a metallic stent. We inflate that balloon and stent. And then this stent is left in the heart, and that's what holds that vessel open. I don't know if you can get see how thin that is, and it's really incredible that that's the heart is about the size of your fist. Is that correct? This is the actual size of the a human heart, size. right okay. here, and these are fairly accurate representations of the size of the arteries that we're bypassing. And then finally, this display actually is demonstrating what we do in bypass surgery, uh, where we bypass proximal obstructions of the arteries of the heart. How do you determine who's a candidate for what kind of procedure? So typically patients that have one vessel or two vessel obstruction, we will treat with percutaneous intervention or angioplasty and stenting. Mm -hmm. Most patients with three vessel disease, we will pursue surgical intervention. For and those I guess patients. the most important advice is just to try to stay healthy in the first place. That's correct. Avoid Avoidance will be the best uh, approach here. Okay. Do your exercise, stop smoking, get your diabetes under control, and manage your weight. All right, Dr. Mitchell, thank you so much thank for your you time. We much. appreciate it. Yeah. All right, we need to talk about the weather. He just said get out and exercise, and this weekend might be a good weekend to do it weather-wise, right? Yes. yes.